Namaste. Welcome to Become the Warrior. This series is a very artistic series. Just like the ancient Indian yoga warriors, this got great postures that strengthens your legs, your arms, and makes them strong and lean. And the powerful breathing techniques increases your stamina, and the concentration techniques increases your mind power. This series changes your whole being giving a great new look you deserve. You see, since ancient times, there are three personalities. Pashu Bhava, Veera Bhava, Divya Bhava. Pashu means animal instinct, or Veera means the warrior instinct, and Divya means the divine personality. You have them all. So awaken the warrior within you and become the force for good. Namaste. The Warrior Series is for all ages. All you need is Sankalpa, the determination to begin. You see, if you find any posture difficult, stay with the easy option, but stay fully with your mind, body, and spirit. This is good to do in the mornings, but if you are doing in the evening, make sure you give at least three hours gap after food. Always have a bottle of water with you. Drink whenever you feel thirsty. Okay, let me teach you the breathing technique of the warrior. Now standing taller back so straight, what you do is first tighten the anus muscles up. Pull the genitals upwards. Okay, now push the lower abdomen inside. Okay, from the navel below, everything is tight. Okay, but relax the face. Don't tense the face, only the base. Now hold it really tight. Okay, not with your hand, just the muscles. Now standing taller, now place your hands like this. Now, we begin breathing. Imagine you're lifting your energy, your inner power, and spreading it all over your body like this. And when you bring your hands down, imagine you're bringing the universal energy into you all the way down to the base of the spine, okay? So when you exhale, create the humming sound, okay? What you do is like this, you see, inhaling, And when exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Namaste. Let's begin the hand and leg movement. Clench your fist. Place your hands right in front like this, straight arms, okay? Now, as you bend your knees, you move your both the hands to the left hand side. Ready? Inhaling, bending knees as if you're pulling the string of a bow, your right arm at your ear. Knees are a little bent. Open your chest, stay here, okay? First timers, bend your knees a little. But those you can do, you can go like this, okay? Now inhale, arms in the front, good. Now exhale to the right, bend your knees a little. Good, open your chest, your elbows a little up, okay? Open up, now put the weight on the hips, otherwise you might hurt your knees. You gotta put your weight more on the hip. Good, again, inhale. Let's do two more, exhale. Gently bend your knees a little first, but if you can go down, go down 90 degrees, like half. Good, open your chest, keep breathing. When you hold the pose, look at your thumb. Now inhale, good, exhale. Look at your right thumb, open up your chest. Knees are bent, strong legs, good. Here we go, now inhale, arms in the front, and bring your hands down. Now, take your legs a little wider, like this, and bend your knees, okay? This technique is very good to strengthen your hips. You see, your hip bone grows older than any bone in your body as you age. But with practice, you can make your hips very stronger, okay? Now from here, let's go into the moves, which will help strengthen the abdomen muscles, okay? And also gives a great balance. Now clench your fist again, raise your arms. Look at your thumbs. Good, now what you do is slowly lift your left leg like this and shoot an arrow. Stay there. And now slowly come down again. You see? 
arms up and now slowly lift your right and shoot good do your best to get your knee a little higher so you work your oblique muscles okay and also gives good strength and tone to your buttocks again raise your arms up look at your thumb and go again to the left exhale shoot strong ab breathing hold it again down wider and again shoot to the right lift up lift higher and feel that muscles okay open up the chest like this breathing there you go good now slowly down raising arms up now hold this pose little down bands okay stay here breathing okay let me tell you something you see if you're when you're sitting down some of you might be like this this is no good okay i want you to tilt your pelvis forward you see like this in strong legs your knees does not hurt in this pose okay you can happily do this pose okay now sitting in this pose you raise your hands and your back should be so straight you see look at the thumbs 10 seconds 9 and you release that's it okay so now we finish the foundation for the warrior now we get into the main course okay facing the side stand in front of the mat you see here when you go down if you have a back problem make sure you bend your knees so you don't hurt your back okay now what do you do stand here namaste stand taller back so straight breathing check your position observing the base law stay here now raise arms up as you raise arms look at your hands and when you raise arms make sure you push your navel against the spine okay look at your hands and lengthen your body really like you want to reach the sky now slowly lean forward bend forward slowly like this but if you have a back problem bend your knees it's quite safer like this you see so you don't hurt your back now place your hands by the side of the feet and slowly get your knees straight those who have a back problem otherwise just stay there head is down so you don't hurt your back so stay there good now slowly look ahead take your right leg back and keep your right leg straight and tight okay front knee and heel in line huh? okay press the palms into the floor chin up and long spine good you see this one opens up your uh, thighs it gives a nice stretch good good for your hips too now from here what do you do go slowly into plank posture like this good this is called the plank now let's go into strengthening the chest and arm muscles ready go down slowly hold good if you cannot do take the easy one drop your knees and don't touch the chest hold it like this okay this is easier now coming to upward facing dog lift yourself really higher like you want to reach high tight buttocks okay again go back into dandy like this just drop if you cannot do remember your option you can drop your knees and now downward facing dog like this hips really higher head is down okay many have tight stiff back like this you see many are tight here so first focus on opening this one you bend your knees a little and push the chest towards the thighs you see that that's how you practice okay this posture is great corrects hunch back round shoulders improves a lot of blood to the face good for your heart Okay, now stay here, bend knees. So by practice, you can straighten your knees like that. It takes a while. Okay. Now stay there. Now slowly bring your right leg in between the arms like this. Okay. First time, it might find it difficult. Maybe the legs does not go. Maybe hold it or place it in the front like this. You see? Now it's time you are shooting the arrow up to the ceiling. Now take your right hand up to the ceiling and lean to the left side like this. Okay. make sure your elbow is coming towards your knee okay and you're shooting up 
stretching up to the ceiling. We'll stay here, four breaths, three, two, come on, some more higher, and go into plank. There you go, stay here. Now, Dundee, for your chest and arms. How are we doing, Mary? Good. <laughs> now, upward, tight buttocks. Again, go back into Dundee. Beautiful. Two downward. Wow. This move will help your back open. Now, this time your left leg in between, like this. You see, hip is down. Now, take your left hand up and lean back. More and more, your right elbow want to touch the knee, the right knee. Stay here, breathing. Same way, this also, if you find it difficult, very easy, drop the knee down. That's all, and be happy there. There you go. You see, work on opening the upper body. Okay, keep breathing. Go into the plank now, body so straight. Okay, now slowly come into Dandy. Hold it. Good. Upward, tight buttocks. Beautiful. Again, back to Dandy. Hold it strongly. Good. Now, come slowly into downward facing dog. Just like that. Press the heels, hips high, your head is down. Stay here. Keep on breathing. You want to bring the chest towards your thighs. Lift, lift your hips up. Your knees must be straight. Keep working on pressing the heels down. Pressing palms. Head is down. Two breaths. And now slowly look ahead, walk your right feet in, like this, okay? Now feet together, head is down, exhale, raise arms up. Look at the hands meeting each other, and namaste. Bring your hands down. Let's take a deep breath, okay? Observe the base lock, tighten the genitals and anus muscles, inhale. Create the sound, like humming sound, exhale as if you're exhaling with the throat. Good, inhale. Good, exhale. Beautiful, one more. Inhale. And you exhale. Good, namaste. Look at the hands meeting each other. Lift up some more higher, push the navel against the spine. Slowly fall into front bend. Falling arms more down by the side of feet. Head is down, chin up, right leg back, stay. Hip is down, now take your leg back into plank posture, body straight. Okay, hold it strongly, how are you doing? Are you feeling good? Yeah, I tell you, you get strong arms, not only the arms, your bone density increases as you do this pose. Now let's go into exercising the chest and arm muscles. Good, hold this pose strongly. If you cannot, use your option. Now, upward facing dog, tight buttocks. Good, I can go back to the dandy. Good, and to downward. Ready? Now bring your right leg in between arms now. Now what do you do this time? You slowly lift your left leg up and stay balanced. You're on one leg. You see, higher. Stay there, breathing. 10 seconds, nine, by practice you get this pose and this pose strengthens your bones okay your bone becomes stronger your joints get stronger five more seconds four three two and down slowly and again done we go hold it hold it don't touch good upward beautiful good good back to dandy two downward now bring your left leg in between arms and now we do this side, okay? Now slowly bring your right leg up. Balance yourself slow first. And shoot an arrow. Stay there, balanced. Good. Hold it for 10 seconds. Nine. This makes your bones very stronger. Your joints become very stronger. Gives a nice stretch. Now, plank posture. Slowly down to Dundee. Strong arms. Four seconds. Three, two, upwards. See, these two postures makes your arms very lean and strong. Okay, good, higher. Good, again, dandy, go down. For men, your arms get really huge. For women, they look very lean and stronger. Sit downward. Now hold this pose, breathing. 
One, two, good. Two more breaths, long exhalation. Observe the base lock. Three, longer. And with the head, bring the right leg in between arms. Chin up. Come up to front, bend feet together. Head is down. Raise arms up. Look at the hands meeting each other. Stretch them up to the ceiling. And namaste. Good. Bring your hands down. Beautiful. You got great postures that strengthens your legs. Now we work on stretching and releasing the tension. Okay, slowly come down. Like this. This is called the warrior or also called the diamond pose. Okay, now I want you to slowly, what you do is, slowly let, let the buttocks come down to the floor. Like this. Okay, now keep on breathing, don't tense, relax it. Okay, if you find it difficult or painful, just sit back, it's okay. Now, slowly drop your elbows like this. You see? And just relax the head back. Beautiful. Okay, now stay there. Now if you think you can slowly go down, resting the shoulders. So slowly rush your shoulders down on the floor and make your hands like a pillow like this. You see, holding the biceps like that and rest your head. Now this is the resting warrior pose. See, you are still in the warrior pose, resting. Okay, but those who find this difficult, what you do is first lie down like this, straight. Turn aside like this. Good, and grab hold of your leg and slowly place the buttocks down. You see, that's how you practice one leg. Okay, stay for a while. Again, some of you might find it difficult or a little painful, but by practice, you will open up. Okay, five more seconds you hold it, then what do you do? Change that leg and do with the other leg. See, that's how you practice. You see, by practice, it opens up. You need to have patience, hold this pose. Relax the buttocks down and nicely breathe. You see, see how happy she is? <laughs> you see, this is a great exercise, stretches your quadriceps. You can release the tension in your joints, your ankles and knees and your hips. Good. Now slowly come out of the pose. Beautiful. Now sit legs straight in front. And place your hands just like this at the back and take two breaths. One. Two, beautiful, look ahead. Now we do a pose again, the bow posture, but this time sitting down, we do this pose. So this is the fifth one. So what you do is sitting taller back so straight, with the first two fingers, okay? Hold your big toe, like this, tightly. Okay, you're holding the big toe is actually like holding the nerve endings of the brain. It gives a nice massage here. But those who find it difficult to hold like this, bend like this, the knees. You see how Mary is doing? That's how we do it. So it's okay, by practice you get it. Now, straight legs or bend knees, however you are. Exhale, head is down. Now stay there, two deep breaths. Do slowly lift your head up. Now look at your right big toe and pull the left big toe to the ear like this. Okay, it's okay, some of your leg is like this. That's good, okay, be happy there. Now keep on pulling little, 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 little. By practice, it can go to the ear. Okay, okay, five seconds more, hold it four. Look at this toe, so you're focusing, then come back again. Okay, again, go forward one more time. Head is down, but those who have a severe back problem, I recommend you to bend your knees so you don't hurt your back. Okay, but by practice, you'll be amazed how your body opens up. Simply focus on your breath. Good, now lift your head up. Look at your left big toe. Now pull the right big toe to the ear. Good, now hold this pose for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and slowly to the front. One more time, bend forward, exhaling. You see, whenever you do this pose, Remember, to get a good stretch, you have to exhale, okay? You exhale and you bend forward. You exhale and bend forward. Don't tense to go down. You cannot get it, okay? Take two more breaths. 
longer. One more time. Now, slowly look at your toes and release. Now stay here. So what you do is from here, we move into inclined plane. This counts as a stretch, you see, because you did a lot of front stretching, you must counter the stretch. Ready? Place the hands like this, little bit back of your hips, fingers pointing towards the feet. And now press the heels, come up like this, higher, opening chest, look back, relax the neck. But those who are first timers or those who find it difficult, you always have an easy option, don't worry. Bend the knees like this. Okay, like how Mary is doing. And just stay here. 10 seconds. This will help open up the pelvis, shoulder blades. People have round shoulders. This is a good one. Your arm muscles get longer. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, come down. Beautiful. Just relax. Leg straight. Just relax your hands. Take two breaths. Every time you should remember to come back. Whenever you take a break, come to your breathing. Don't think of anything. Just stay with me. Okay, you are a warrior. Okay, now I want you to slowly lie down. As you lie down, good, grab hold. You can bend your knees and hold the big toe. Okay, that's fine. Now straighten the knees and see lying down like this, like you're doing your front bend lying down. It's slightly difficult, stay there. But first timers, those who find it difficult, I want you to just stay bend knees like this. That's fine. That's okay. You see? Now stay here breathing. And I want you to now walk your feet far away from your head. Now take them up. Out. More. Just like that. More far. You see? Good. Keep on breathing. Put the weight on the shoulders. Okay? Your neck is long. This is called the plow pose. A very good pose to elongate the spine and also stimulate the glands that control your body weight. So I want you to hold this pose, but those who cannot do this, you take a towel and you place it at the shoulder level. See, some people have severe back or neck problem, so they cannot do it. So use a blanket, place it like this, at the shoulders, huh? so your head is down. Yes, like this, you see, your head is down and the shoulders are totally on the blanket. Make sure the shoulders don't slip out. Okay, take the legs using a little force and you might support your back. Okay, you see, stay here. This more easier. Yeah, feel it? Yeah. You see, this one elongates the spine, stimulate the glands, the thyroid and parathyroid glands that control your body weight. Okay, all right there. Overweight, underweight is controlled by this gland. Now I want you to take slowly your right leg up to the ceiling. There you go. Good. Okay, now let the left leg join the left. Good, stay there. Okay, keep breathing. Now, absorb base lock, tighten the anus muscles. Okay, this is quite safe for people who have a neck problem. Use a blanket under your shoulders, not under your neck. Okay, now stay there breathing. Tighten the anus muscles and genitals, but relax the feet. And this pose is a very powerful pose that destroys any disease in your body. Now hold this pose, breathing. Good. You see, when you exhale, you just exhale thinking like, you're, uh, like a baby snoring. Exhale with that sound, very gently. So you stimulate the glands a lot. Now hold this pose, five more seconds, four, three, two, now slowly bend your knees, it's more easier, and roll and come down. That's good, you see, that's it. Wonderful. Now, hug your knees, like that. Take two breaths. See, if there's unnecessary tension, the back will go away when you hug your knees, okay? Okay, roll and sit up. There you go. Now, come on your stomach. Lie down on your stomach. Beautiful. You see? This, this class makes you the warrior. It gives you great legs. Okay? It tones the buttocks. It strengthens your thighs. Opens up the hips. This is a wonderful class for you. Okay? So keep breathing. Take two more breaths. And stay getting ready for the next move.
take a couple of breaths to get ready. We're going into the final pose, the bow. What you do is now, getting ready, grab your ankles or your toes, whichever is difficult. Okay. Now, bring your heels to the buttocks if you have them. But with this warrior class, you get great tone. Now, holding like this, so what you do is take a deep breath and as you inhale, lift yourself up higher, really higher, opening up. You see? You're again like a bow posture. You see? So this is a very good pose, correct hunchback. People who have a sclerosis, bad round shoulders like this, that's very bad. By doing this posture, you feel great. But make sure you're breathing in this pose. Now keep on breathing. Breathe, breathe. Good, let's move, let's swing front and back, giving a nice massage to the chest and also to the pelvis. This is good. Okay, you're massaging the chest, your pelvis, and first timers, you find it difficult, that's okay. But you just move a little forward, just like that. Mm, you see? Okay, that's all. Good. Now come down slowly. Beautiful. Heels touch the buttocks. Stay here. And release. Beautiful. Okay, now, placing palms at the shoulders, slowly come into the child pose. Yeah, you are now becoming a warrior, a child warrior. Okay? Very peaceful, very calm. When you come into a child, you should become a child. Okay? Just drop your elbows, you know, just free of all the tension and pain. Child pose is very good for your back. Release all the tension and pain. What you should do is just become a child here. Worry less. Totally leaving all the muscles down. Just becoming a baby. Good. Take three more deep breaths. Now, slowly move your hands back, reaching your heels. That's all. And slowly lift your head up. And now we are coming back into the diamond posture. You see? This is called the diamond pose. Now, I want you to get ready to sit in the diamond for little while okay in the beginning some of you might find it difficult to sit in this pose but you can use a blanket or a hard pillow and place it like this you see this is more comfy yeah? okay you can choose the height you need to okay so if you find it, this one still painful you can take a hard pillow and place it under the same way so you can come up a little higher okay Still, this one also bothers you a lot or still painful, you see, like that. If still you find it difficult, then what you do, you sit and cross-legged on a blanket. You can fold it, make it like a pillow and sit on it, you see, that's a pose, you can sit. Sitting in this pose balances the energy. You sit taller, back so straight, long spine, don't sit like this, okay? Sitting taller, back so straight. So sitting in this pose is called the diamond. Okay, now what you do is, place the hands like this, just resting on your lap. You should relax a lot. You should not tense when you do this breathing. So much relax in your face, so much relax in your arms and all that. After relaxing, when I say, lift your hand to the navel, imagine you are lifting the energy from the base to the navel like this. And, bring it back okay so this one you have to do as you inhale lift your hands up and as you exhale hands down the same way we're going to bring the hands to the heart center so you got to lift your hands up to the heart center and bring it back down okay the third powerful point we do is the eyebrow center so we're going to ask you to bring your hands up to the eyebrow center you have to bring the hands like this and bring it down back okay so finally when ask you to bring it all over so imagine you're lifting your energy, okay, spreading all over your body. And then when you bring your hands down, imagine you're bringing the universal energy into you all the way down to the base. Okay, let's do it. Sitting taller, close your eyes. Keep your back so straight, closed eyes. Relax your face. 
Relax your eyes. Relax your shoulders. Relax your back. Keep your back straight, but don't tense your back. Now, bring your awareness to the base of the spine. Now as you inhale, lifting your hands, imagine you're lifting the energy to the navel. Now, this time, take your arms more, inhaling up, up, up and up all over your body and feel that light and energy spreading throughout your whole body, in and around you. And now, exhale. Slowly and gently, all the way down, bringing your hands slowly down and rest them on your lap. Let's do two more times. Inhale very slowly and gently. Feel that energy up and up all over your body. Feel that light and energy spreading brighter. Now as you exhale, Bring the universal energy from the top of the head down and down and down and down to the base of the spine. One more time, very slowly inhale. Let your energy, consciousness travel along with the movement and expand your energy all over your body now. Now, as you exhale, Bring the universal energy from the top of the head, feeling down and down, down your whole body. Rest your palms and stay here feeling the breath at your nostrils, a very normal breath without any jerk, witnessing the breath in the nose. Feel the touch of breath in the nostrils. Now, slowly bring your hands together at your heart center. Now stay here and listen to the mantra. Mantras are positive affirmations, vibrational sounds. And this is a very powerful mantra that strengthens your willpower, increases confidence, courage, and it protects you from dangers and misfortune. Simply listen to the mantra. Triyambakam yajamahe Sugandim pustivartanam Urvarukam iva pandanam Mruchyor mokshiyam amrutam Om Triyambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pustivartanam Urvarukamiva Pandanam Mruchyor Mokshiyam Amruta Om Triyambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pustivartanam Urvarukamiva Pandana Mruchyor Mokshiyam Amruta Om Shanti Shanti Shanti
Slowly bring your hands and cup your eyes with your palms. Open eyes into the palms. Namaste.